Day two here in uh, Daytona. I uh, had a good day yesterday. Um, today is pretty low key, but um, tonight I start my weight cut. So I've got to adjust my diet a little bit. And, um, you know, I still got to keep hydrating normal, keep my uh, um, water intake up. I don't want to cut it off too soon because then your body kind of freaks out and uh, it'll start retaining water and holding on to it because it doesn't want you to die. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go get some breakfast right now. Now for breakfast, the usual um, eggs. I put a strawberry on my plate, but I can't eat it. Ooh. Trying to torture me here. It's all right, though. It smells good. <laughs> so I got my coffee, eggs, and my protein. Um, it's weight cutting day. Um, I started the weight cut tonight, but uh, no carbs today. And I'll drink regular water until um, I do my workout later before bed. Weight is looking good. I'm uh, about 178 right now. Energy's high, so should be pretty easy peasy since I only have to make 171 for this fight. I was gonna try to uh, take a nap, but. That's gonna be kind of hard. They're doing some construction and uh, some balcony work. I don't know if you can see them out there. They're out there trying to fix the balcony. The balcony's locked up. It's a hazard. Um, so yeah, I went and got some suntan screen. So I'm gonna have to go and uh, go for a little walk and uh, let them move to another floor. Pick up some new shades. Check out the little boardwalk here. The beach. Won't be out too long because I don't want to get overexposed to the sun. I have to get some lotion. Take care of my skin. Don't want to be burnt for the fight. Pick up some sweet sunglasses because I forgot to bring mine. Song's familiar. So here on the pier in Daytona. I uh, ordered a shirt to get printed with my logo on it. Uh, um, just chilling, hanging out. I think I'm going to go sit in the shade for a while. And then uh, head back. I got videos and uh, pictures in a little while for the promotion. Um, cool day so far. I'm back. They're still working outside, so it's loud. Got me a new shirt, Fitch Smash. And then my corner, Mo Amen. He's here to uh, do some coaching. Here we go. Mo, just one, Mo is one of my original coaches back in Lafayette. Back when uh, we used to have to recruit guys to train with from the bar, he'd be at the door. That. He'd be at the door and ask guys, "Oh, you know how to grapple? You, you're <laughs> thinking about fighting? Why don't you come and come in and train?" All the judo guys. Yeah, all the judo come guys. In. Every drunk tough guy around, <laughs> and they would come in and uh, they were trying to help me train for a fight, my first fight. And uh, it was supposed to be they would rotate in as I. Um, submitted them and I, I didn't know any submissions really and every uh, and uh, they would just keep rotating in as I submitted them and then we we're supposed to do three five minute rounds we got through about three and a half minutes yeah. we had oh, ten oh guys <laughs> we had ten guys sitting on the fence on the on the wall and they're they were like no we're done we're all done <laughs> so I got a good three and a half minutes of grappling out of that situation so that was that was one of the decisions, uh, one of the factors playing a role in me moving to California and going to AKA. On the way down to uh, the production area, we've got interviews and um, pictures, I think. So we'll see, I got my hair looks all spiffy. And um, coaches are tagging along, make sure I'm all right. We were just talking about that, how we have to get like, 10 guys to come in to go five, four minutes, you know, yeah. and be like, oh, we don't have anybody else left. Yeah. Lead up a cut. Perfect. 
Perfect. Turn, snarl. What you doing? It's almost like I've been doing this for 15 years. Going to do uh, some interview stuff, new technology. Hopefully, it doesn't eat me. Whole like process of like doing the weight cut because I know a lot of people don't really know too much about it. They just mm -hmm. sort of see them go up to the weight and I have I actually I have a video on my YouTube channel, Official John Fitch. Official uh, John has, Fitch. It has a, um, a weight cut video on there that shows me doing my old routine. Um, I have a similar routine now, but I've focused more on diet now. Okay. In the last uh, last uh, three fights, yeah, including this one, last three. Uh, so like diet has played a major role in in that. Before it was more cutting water weight, mm -hmm. which is just sweating out 15 to 20 pounds of water, which is it can wreak havoc on your yeah. your ability to perform and it can crush your kidneys and yeah. it can just be bad. So uh, diet is the key. I've eliminated a lot of the body fat, so the amount of water I have to lose is, is minimal now. Right. And uh, last question is, uh, what would you want to tell sort of the younger generation who want to start to get to, into MMA? Because I know there's a huge sort of controversy about it. it's like this brutal sport blah 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 but I know there's so much more to it just because I'm an MMA fan so would you like to sort of explain yeah that? for one train smarter not harder um, build your base build your your skill set learn the techniques don't just spar don't just beat your brains out don't don't just go hard because you want to be tough um, drill hard do the techniques hard um, learn how to do the movements learn all that stuff Get yourself to a proficient level before you take one shot to the head. Right. All right. There you go, guys. John Fitch. Dinner time. Early dinner again, and then uh, we'll be working out. Can't wait later. That's dinner. Last meal probably until call. weigh in. So you so. Sure that, 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 uh, Can't wait. All right. It's time for the uh, dreaded weight cut. Um, First things first is I need to uh, check my weight. That's gonna be the official scale. Um, see where I'm starting at and uh, how much I have to lose. There's a lot of kids at church camp. Because Brian would have said, Bonner says, you know, back when I was in the, uh, then all of a sudden they started this tough fucking thing. <laughs> it was real fighters, it was real men. You're like, Matt Lindman, you know, <laughs> ripping. Stephen Bonner, season one. <laughs> I used to park cars. He's <laughs> <laughs> going back and forth. Me and Peter cracked in. And, and Phil, Phil came by. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I asked uh, <laughs> 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 and, uh, I'm laughing. I go, 35. Hey, boy, talk to me before you tell the world. Bitcoin burst. <laughs> Doing some reality show or seven calls while he's there. Shots at him. He's busting his balls. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Some, some play in there. I'm the fighter. It's up. I'm just saying. I think he knows more about fighting. Right, 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 right. And he goes, I go, hey, we can stick it up. I'm like, if it's just me and Bonner, I'm against it. Fight's pissed off and sad. And you have to wear that tonight. Or if you wear it, you have to come to the streets tonight. We were walking down the busiest street on the night when everybody's drunk, getting drunk outside, and on TV they're showing. Pretty much hard stuff done. Do a little mummy wrap, let my body keep sweating. The idea isn't to get a hard workout in. The idea is to open the faucet and just let the water pour out. So when the faucet's open, there's no need to keep cranking the nozzle harder. Just let the water flow. It's about a little over an hour of work and mummy time together. Now I gotta start taking this stuff off. Take off 
the cocoon. Start seeing about how much water I lost. Shirt. <laughs> oh, it's not coming out. Oh, ha ha. Oh, my God. And they're going to come and try to train Make it rain. rain. Yeah. Yeah, the room. Ah. Oh. I don't know. It's a pretty good amount. I think I lost it a little bit. Anybody want to slip and slide? Oh, don't squeeze that. Oh man. Anybody want a drink? Well, man, it's all coming from the same places. I'll clean it up, though. I don't know. Hey, Russell, I'm out this up. <laughs> and I am like the last guy using this area, also. So, I'm not being completely inconsiderate. So, you just... Oh, awesome. So um, I lost a crap load of weight at that uh, little workout. I did um, uh, about an hour in my full gear, right? And uh, it was only about four work rounds of doing stuff you know, at a very light pace. And then the rest was just kind of sitting and chilling and letting, letting the water sweat. Um, like I said, uh, the idea of cutting weight, cutting the water weight is, you know, you're turning the faucet on and you want the faucet to run. It doesn't do you any good to, to keep cranking on the, on the nozzle to keep trying to make more water come out. Just let the water flow, keep it steady. Um, so now I, I, uh, I lost so much weight, I get to reward myself because I'll, I usually float one to two pounds overnight, right? So I can put um, at least a pound back onto my body. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kinda gonna split it. I've got, um, we're limited because it's late and everything's closed, so I can't just go straight protein, but I've got some yogurt, some granola, and um, some like dried fruit or whatever. So I've got a little bit of, uh, of that going on and then I got a glass of water to wash it down. So um, it's gonna be a delicious late night snack for me. I'm excited about it. Um, I have my scale here, so I weighed that out and it's only about um, 15 to 16 ounces right in there. So I'm only gonna be putting a pound back on. So uh, I'll be half a pound over. I'll easily float that and I'll probably be able to have a little bit of water um, in the morning when I wake up so that I'm not too crabby and I don't have cotton mouth. So um, a very successful camp. The meal plan was great. Uh, I got to thank Manny Torres, my diet, diet coach. Um, awesome job, awesome job again. So um, I'm, I'm even bigger than I was the last fight. So I think I put up about two pounds, maybe three pounds of muscle on because uh, I was a little bit bigger this camp and I was kind of worried about making the weight. I thought I was going to have to do sauna time in the morning. But um, as you see, I feel good. My energy levels are high. Um, I didn't have to cut that much water weight. Um, the water that I did cut came off really easy. Um, diet, meal planning, that's the way to go. If you're, if you're uh, going to get into a weight class sport, that's, I wish I would have known this 20 years ago. Take it easy. See you in the morning.